Hello guys, so this is Fusion Forge, and today we are going to do video number two of learning Onshape. So in this tutorial, I am going to make a paperclip exploring the sweep function right here. So how we're going to start in this is we are going to start a sketch on the front plane right here. And to, add, to get to the front plane, the keyboard shortcut is shift one, or you just click front on this cube right here. Now we are going to want to create a line shortcut L which is also in construction mode. So uh, shortcut Q. Now for this line we want it to be 0 0.44 inches. And there we go. Now we want to go straight back to C for a circle and turn off construction because construction is going to stay on no matter what sketches we switch to. So now for the diameter of the circle we want it to be 0 0.039 inches and just finish the sketch right here. So now we want to start another sketch on the top plane right here. So click on the top plane and Shift S. Top plane is Shift 5 to get to quickly. And then we have a choice here. We can either project from the first image or create another line with the same. Or since we have this, uh, this point right here, that's all we're going to actually need. So we want to start a line from this point. So we're going to click that point and drag upwards. It's going to have the vertical constraint bring built in because we just stuck with the line and brought it straight up. You should notice that it snaps to place like it does if I click it again. It's just going to snap to place and I'm going to see that dashed line and that horizontal constraint. Now we want this line to be 0 0.64 inches. And then we want to make this next line a construction line that is 0 0.295 inches. And then we want to turn off construction and go downwards. And it has to be, this line has to be 0 0.9 inches. Now we just, we're just going to repeat this pattern of construction on and construction off. This has to be 0 0.252 inches. And then we have to go back up again. This is going to be 0 0.64 inches again. Go right. This is not supposed to be construction. The next line is, however. So this right here, we are going to click to be 0 0.198 inches and then the final line this one is not going to be going to be construction and this is going to be 0 0.364 inches and now how we're going to use all of these construct construction lines is that we're going to use them to make accurate arcs just press the shortcut a for arc or click right here for a three-point arc, click right here, and click right here. So now you can just drag till that circle snaps with the rest, with the midpoint of that line being perfectly in line with the other two points. And we're just going to click and enter. If this happens, just delete. Both of these, we just have that. As you can see, it's constrained, isn't gonna be really bad. And now we just have to do the same with all of these construction lines. And now we are just gonna confirm the sketch. So, press Shift 7, go back to isolate. And press P to get rid of all the planes so that it's a little bit easier to see what we're going to do. 
So now we're going to go up here and click Sweep. Select Faces and Sketch Regions to Sweep. We're just going to click the circle right here. And for the Sweep Path, we're going to click this entire sketch. And there we go. This is all our paperclip. And that's it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And have a good day.